You have finally made it through customs. You are in the Thilavan Islands. Congratulations. That's, where, that's probably where Ricky is. It's probably where Leithil is. Anna might know more about Leithil as well. Anna yeah, does know yeah, a lot. And, and My mum's got a little working relationship. At the university? She, she works at the university. Great. <laughs> right, the dickheads go to university. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Those ones are my one. So I'm gonna walk back up to these guys and give them some soggy robes. So I'm gonna lead them down. I uh, I mean, can not I just ask, why the f are they wet? <laughs> I didn't have a lot of time. No, but why are they wet? They, they're being washed. Oh, there was oh a large... okay. All right, so they are just wet. Yeah, they're just wet. Right. Clean, yeah. clean. Except, I guess clean. Except yeah. for yours. Which... Just, <laughs> yes, it smells like it smells like Febreze. So. Febreze, which is another canon. Um, yeah, so I lead them down a, a big old um, hallway and through some libraries, and there's a lot of magical items that they're not allowed to touch on the way. And then my Sisters. stop touching them. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't right. touch anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's just fucking stealing. <laughs> um, which I didn't notice, and we take them down some more stairs, and my mother's office is downstairs. Wonderful. Um, describe what it looks like as you open the door. It's a big round room, and it has lots of like moons and stars. It's all celestial stuff. It's really cool. Nice. Yeah. There's really a couple cool. of. Uh, th th <laughs> <laughs> my mum's cool. super cool. She's super cool. cool. Uh, there's moons and stars, uh, star formations in the ceiling, in mm. the um, in the dome above. Uh, but there's also uh, hanging in space uh, in the air above you. Uh, lots of orbs and uh, denoting a, a, a working solar system that is that is moving in in space above. Mm. True. Um, How many planets in this solar system? Adam, <laughs> we'll build right now on the spot. <laughs> oh, I don't even. Th I think we. Like I think we just said thirteen. Uh, Fifty. What are the names of the planets? <laughs> My Let me tell you what the names of the planets are <laughs> that are in <laughs> the solar and then system. We'll come Yeah, great. Weird pornographic so names. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a weird, it is a weird pornographic world. Yeah. Really? As Blasterous. <laughs> weird. Penis. Yeah, just a yeah. planet One named just Penis. Gone. That's now canon, an epic NPC man. Alan. You can see penis. Penis is rising. <laughs> penis is rising. <laughs> penis is rising, but it's blocked by Volva. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I think we decided that this is a plane, not a planet, didn't we? Yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. But Whatever. the planets in the sky oh. are still planets. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Um, all right, so as you, uh, as you enter the, uh, the library, you meet Anna. Um, Anna turns to see you. She looks an awful lot like, uh, like your new friend, um, dressed in a similar That's fashion, but with more, um, sh uh, what are they called? Officious robes, and she's got a, one of those floppy hats that, mm. uh, that, that hat. academics, mm. the master's hat. Mm. Um, what else does she look like or um, anything she, identifying about her? She has, uh, she is missing a finger from a bad spell. Mm. Yep, a pinky finger, and she has glasses on. <laughs> Both of my pinkies are broken. There you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and um, she's, she's hiding, you can't see her face because it's behind a big old stack of books. <laughs> she, yeah. You come in and you just see the master's hat. Yeah. And then she... Hello. Whoop. Pops out from behind the books. <gasps> Mum! Th th that's what she looks Clem! like. That's what she looks like. That's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is. She's not that old, yeah. though. And we'll put so that photo old. into the edit right now. Yeah. yeah. She's not yeah. that old, is she? Yeah, it's She's an elf. She's an elf. Oh, yeah. Probably just Hard looks to like that. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. So yeah, I'm probably playing my own mother. Great. Is your mother... So you're half elf. Is your mother full No, my, my mother... Ah, uh, is, yeah. Yeah, I is forget which way around we said. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, um, Mother's the elf, the dad's the human, right? Dad's That's the what human, we said. Yeah. Oh, gosh, so I suppose there'll be a point where she, you probably eventually look older than her. Yeah, potentially. Because yeah. yeah. you're yeah. half elf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. probably. That'd be a weird yeah. thing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, anyway, you uh, you walk in, she says... Mum! Clem! Hi! Hi, Mum! Clem! Give us a cuddle! Oh, I think we'd better not. Why not? Well, let's just say I have the sniffles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's probably best we don't touch or interact at all. Yes, or cross. <laughs> or cross. Lines. Or do anything related to or lines walls. that might be important for film filming. Things. I mean, what things? 
Mother. <laughs> Mama. Mama. Oh, honey. Oh, Mama. Yeah. Mum. Uh, so she stands up from behind the desk and she comes <gasps> over and gives you a big hug. And um, oh, uh, who are your friends? Good question. Right. <laughs> I know you told me not to go into the woods and meet strange men, but I've met three. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's fine. That's quite all right. Whatever you're into, uh, I'm just happy that you're happy. Um, <laughs> Mom. As long as you're safe. Mother, you're just embarrassing me. As long as you're safe, OK? <laughs> have so, you got condoms? <laughs> <laughs> because I have a <laughs> lot of them. <laughs> so. no, my mother doesn't even think about that. OK, so this is Bob. This is I Stephen. I don't need to. She's Thank you for using my true name. And this is Baradun. No. I mean, Baradun is the No, 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 no. I mean, no, no. I'm just, Whoa, no. I'm, I mean, I meant to say Bodger. Sorry, what's your name? I'm mean? sorry, Ben, have we met before? I don't. I, 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 bodger, I, I, my middle I, name? Yeah. I don't have a middle name. Bodger, Bodger. I'm going, bodger, just bodger. so you know, I'm going by the name of Stephen at the moment, just to kind of keep bear. a low profile, so don't tell sorry. anyone I'm here. I'll see you. She just said it. No, she just said it. No, I said it. He was. Yeah, I know, and then she put the pieces together. Yeah, sorry. I recognise. My mother and I have no secrets. Sorry. <laughs> um, Sorry, if you could please keep that on the down low that I'm here because yes, it's, it's here it, to be a secret. The rumours are that you uh, are dead. Dead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they are. Uh, so yeah. I didn't know Wait, that. this is yeah. everything's suddenly different. So, so. Y uh, you're going to have to explain. So okay, we're so trying to save the world. Right, so I was we're in the forest to save the world. researching Archfate, like you told me yes, to. Yes, of course. And then I, did you meet her? I did. She was lovely, oh. honestly. Um, a bit scary. You didn't anyway. give her your name, your full name? No, she would control me if she <laughs> of course. I'm not an idiot. An idiot, huh? idiot would do something. Sorry, I mean, an that? idiot would give a, a fae their real name. <laughs> Same. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> then she could control you. Everybody knows that. Oh, so you're saying we shouldn't give our full names to Archfays? What if they're like really friendly and helping us? Yeah, they, they, they granted us some wishes and stuff. Super friendly. Well, there, there's no time that we ever gave her our full names, right? Bob, Bartholomew Osiris Bladesong. I am High Sorcerer Baradun, Bodger, leader of this crew. Greg. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure yeah, we're no, fine. We're, we're, we're in the clear. In the clear. Yes. Very good. Good, 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 good. As always, no consequences for Baradun and the dickheads. Hey! Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't give did her your real name. Did you meet her as well? <laughs> yes, what? yes. We, we freed her from uh, oh, the Oh, that's three why you're going by Stephen, because mm. you told. Yeah. So that's something Steve. you feel like you as a high sorcerer probably should have known and told us. <laughs> probably. <laughs> In hell? Herding <laughs> 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 tests, concha, concha I just got a like minor illusion of a coffee. <laughs> Big drink. <laughs> sorry, sorry, what was the question? That gift of, uh, what, what Aaron, was the question? Aaron Paul, is it? The, the actor Jesse from the. Yeah. And he's just drinking the pot. <laughs> um, no, we wouldn't do such a thing because um, what I mean, I know what would happen if you if you told an arch for your name, but mm. you ref refresh our. Refresh As in, us. any fae that knows your real name controls you, basically mm. can control you. Mm. They have power. Didn't you tell that fae your full name? Probably. And you just happen to be the one that's got wise. the old. Uh... That's fine. What's the, what's the old? Oh, he's got a headache. <laughs> Yeah. I just lied to my mum. Anyway. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? No. <laughs> 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 she followed her fucking mum. It's a headache. That's a lie. It's not. <laughs> I, I know we're dumping a lot of information on you at one time. I'm very sorry about that. But to, to rewind fully, yes, I am Baradun, the previous yes. high sorcerer. No, I'm obviously not dead. Uh, Leithel, who was uh, acting high sorcerer at the moment, uh, overthrew me. She walks past you and closes the door to her yeah, uh, office. Mm. Everyone knows everyone in this. <laughs> so anyway, I'm Baradun, <laughs> and uh, um, and uh, portal, and I portaled away to Honeywood to get to safety. But he stripped me of all of my powers. I'm doing it again, aren't I? God damn it! <laughs> I don't. It doesn't even surprise me anymore. <laughs> Um, and so we're here to gather a little bit of information Make about Lee. insight check. 19. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you notice that she looks like she's faint and she might fall down in a second if you don't quickly grab her. Mum, are you alright? You quickly grab her and she sort of like stumbles and... Oh Jesus. Are you okay? He was just here. Where is that then? Lethal. Oh, how, how many minutes ago? Yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh. He he came to wish me well with my taking over his role at the arcane research, and he 
he seemed like such a lovely bloke. Yeah, not so much. Yes. Kind of a big bad evil guy. So he he stripped <laughs> he stripped me of my powers and sent me off, and I managed to escape, thank God. And it turns out we've just found that he also. <laughs> <laughs> It's my mum, I think. I, I'm, I'm, I was going to be vague, but it turns out he also dealt with the previous high sorcerer oh, before me as well. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so the thing is, Leithil didn't only strip the powers of me, high sorcerer Baradun, he also stripped the ah, what? what? Maybe don't. Maybe Whether don't. he also stripped well, the powers da, 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 Sorry, what I'm trying to say well, is... Da, 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 what I'm trying to say is... is maybe he also stripped that, the powers maybe. of the previous high sorcerer, Califac. Um, he's in my brain. And he's now in his brain, yeah. I don't we're think in, we should in, have said we're that. We're in big trouble. Hey, we need allies. <laughs> I yeah, we do need I allies. I wonder if she's an ally. <laughs> she's my mother. There's a team. We don't even know who. We, we, can we trust you? Yeah, we don't even know you. Uh, that's a good point. The last person we trusted turned out to be a bad hey, guy. Hey. Yeah, and yet you keep trusting people <laughs> with all of our secrets. Do you know why I keep trusting people? Because I'm so amazing and lovely. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Statistically, if you trust enough people, <laughs> eventually we'll trustworthy. you'll find someone trustworthy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She, she... I have so much love in my heart, Bob. So much uh, to give. Uh, I'm a great I wish you had some brains sorcerer. in your brain instead. <laughs> that would be nice. Anna walks over to the desk and just kind of like sits down. She's a bit shaky. I, he was so lovely about... Uh, he said that he would teach me what I needed to know once he became high sorcerer. The position would be open. Um, and he said that I'm in the running to take it, and I was so excited. But I mean, you, could, you could still take it. I don't think you should let on that. Because I don't think mixed. I don't think once we defeat him that we're going to put him back as the head of our <laughs> research, to be honest. <laughs> so you probably will still get the job. Hey, te technically, technically, are you still the high sorcerer? Technically, like uh, if like, but a me meaninglessly, yeah. doesn't have any of his powers. Yeah, or... right. There is a year's grace period between when one high sorcerer goes missing and them electing another. Right. So, so if I pop so back up there in is, the next like, nine yo, what, months, so there is like... officially no high sorcerer at the moment. There is an acting high sorcerer. If I were to pop you back up, publicly just go, yo, what's up? I'm back. It's me. But then there's like target, which mm. is why. When you first mm. lost all your powers, Leothil immediately spread the rumour that there's a doppelganger pretending to be Baradun and oh. you'll, you'll know him because he doesn't actually have any of his powers. Mm. So you'll be able to test if it's the real Baradun by asking him to do some high level yeah, magic. I was just thinking, I was like, there must have been a reason why yeah. we didn't just <laughs> yeah, tell yeah. everyone about the plan. Yeah, because I'm, <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that that, that's sort of, yeah, basically yeah, okay, big okay. old target. <laughs> Which, <laughs> to be honest, that target gets smaller and smaller every day. Mori, yeah, Mori's, Mori regains his power. Like, the there's more probably that coming a day people. pretty soon where we could just be like, not straight up, I am the high sorcerer. Don't worry, what's up? By which time, Lothal maybe has enough powers within the order that. Lothal's been scheming and planning and stuff since we've been gone. What a schemer. Keep, and the more allies that we get in the Order of the Weave as well. Order of the Weave. I would just like mom. to suggest we you really keep... clarify that people are allies <laughs> before <laughs> divulging everything. You keep, See, I you like keep, doing you keep it the other way around. My mum is if like because we know we've known you our whole life. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're just a stranger as well. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Fair yeah. Enough. But fair it's enough. my mum. Who are you? We've known you what, like a week and a half or something. If that, I enough, hope days. Fair um, you, don't get me wrong, you seem trustworthy. No, no you know what, like, you're right. I wouldn't trust me either. Hey, by the way, it, it by may the way. Be, no need to be passed. It may be, listen, I wouldn't listen. Trust me it either. may be because, obviously, the, in the week and a half that you've known Clem, we kind of skipped over it and been like, ah, oh, you just leveled up. But you've only known each other for three months. <laughs> you've only known him three, you only met him three months ago. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and a lot has happened. We Think about everything you went through with him in the first week and a half that you knew him. Yeah. <laughs> We've done a lot this last three <laughs> It's been a, a lot. It's, it's been, been a busy time. I could been. use a day off. Uh, man. <laughs> you can trust my mother. What? Says who? Says me. What? We've only known you for about 20 days. Although, to be fair, a lot can happen in 20 days. Like Look, in our first 20 days, fought frogs, fought a wolf, fought a hill giant that completely permanently changed my life and imbued an eldritch lord into my brain. We met Leofil, we met my brother Fib, we met Stephanie. You can go through a lot in 20 days. Hang on a sec. Are you saying that at one table session, we've known her for 20 days? That's what I'm saying. Well, I guess I trust you then. I don't. That's so on brand. Yeah, mostly because you're a woman. <laughs> Squeen gonna go to a spa for a week. Yeah. But we, we should just keep in mind that we, sooner rather than later, 
Assuming, assuming we're not going to become allies with um, Lathal, soon maybe would be a time to kind of go, yo, I'm back, deal what's up? That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just straight up. It could there. be. Possibly. You know who would be good to talk to about that would be Padraig. Yeah. And if we could... You're, so you're technically still the high sorcerer. Like... If he no. comes back before subtation day, then he, t- he retakes high sorcerer. But it's is, a dangerous play. But we could talk to Patrick about it. Which is kind of why the whole piece. campaign so far has been about going around and getting allies in the Dead mm. Frost and mm. Ewelin and now the mm. Thilaburn mm. Islands. Mm. Mm. So you I can, don't think today is the right like day, but hey, so that you can gradually, re- <laughs> gradually regain your powers while you're Lucky getting allies so that when you come out and say, hey, hey, Thil, I'm still alive. I mm. level, level Head of arcane research. Le- level your own right now. What level? What, what would you say that he was previously level 20? Yeah. yeah. This high as you can go? Yep. Did you lose levels? Oh, yeah, right at, at the very start. At the beginning of the campaign. Anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anna uh, is, is feeling a little shaken about this news that uh, the person she was trusting and like looking up to and idolizing almost as like the new acting high sorcerer that was going to put her in a big position of power that she's kind of been striving for her whole life turns out to be... A murderous scheming asshole, uh, if your word is to be believed. Not like us. No, <laughs> no. She doesn't We're know the us. good guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, he he um, he said he came down to speak with me, but then he's he's just headed off to the um, to Delarine to speak with the heads of the five families. Mm. Mm. He said he w- public opinion is important for Sabtation Day, and so he was starting to speak with the families about making sure they're on his side. I read he did. If you, if you, if you, if what you're saying is true, then he can, he must be stopped. We can't we can't let him get away with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you you should talk to the five families as well. You should you should tell them your your case. That is part of the plan of why we're here. We want, I mean immediately we want to go and talk to the Selwyn family mm-hmm. and the Blade Songs and the Blade Songs well, and probably why, the Phantasmos. Why the Selwyns? Co- more importantly, more importantly than Lethal, can we should talk about the big, the, the big, the big, the big, the big, the big thing in the room? I think we can I trust my mum. I think it's time mom. to just like trust. I mean, it's the uh, end of the oh, f-ing world. All right, f-ing it. I've got a demon lord in my head. Kind of. What do we do about like? I mine a minor dark. A minor dark. You, that, you, you, mean, you don't have to jump straight to that. It's not. That's not necessarily the best way to start a conversation. A conversation. Okay. Anna, it does Anna a stands to her feet and just walks over to a drinks cabinet just give her, just give her <laughs> in the corner of the office. Put, put, pour a double for yourself because, because there's, because we're, because yeah, there's big information to come. Let's fuck it, let's can, get fucked up. Can, 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 we, can we just go, instead of like explaining it now, just go, if we spend the next hour mm-hmm. explaining the whole yep. situation. About Calathec, about the Dark Lord, I'm sure she knows about the Dark Lord slightly. Zybilna explaining shit Is there any information you're holding back? Uh, um, I reckon statistically this is the one we can trust. Um, <laughs> he's got a doll in Instead him. Just saying that makes it better. Statistically speaking. Uh, no, he's got he's a doll in him. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, um, that's another <laughs> that's thing. That's more I've information. A, I've, so he does need to go to A&E eventually. <laughs> I feel like that one can, we can put a pin in that. <laughs> yeah. I just well, thought I, I'd bring it up. I'm, I'm at peace with that one. Now. Also, why do, you, why do you smell musty? Oh, yeah, speaking of which, it's these wet robes. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sick of being in a hot, wet robe. Should we just take these off? What's the point yep. of these, anyway? Yep. They turned out to be pretty much pointless. They've served absolutely no purpose. Ah, oh. oh, so much better. Oh. Annoying robes. I would hate to constantly be wearing robes. Oh. I bet you would. Yeah, yes. no, uh, robes. I'd, I'd hate oh. to live a life in wearing robes. Yeah, you know I know. What's the worst is when you take off your robe and it rips off the tip of your ear. Yes. <laughs> your ear. Yeah. Are you okay? Hurt? It's fine. It just happens. Every it's so now often. canon that you've lost the top of your ear. I think I we know. should. We could probably just stick it back on. No, forever. I've got only one ear now. These damp robes. I meant to take that off before I came in. <laughs> You're gonna no. need to give that guy in the laundromat an A plus, not to say anything, because I did yeah. steal um, Robert. Oh, right. You so, he's got your name. Oh, he's definitely not getting an so A plus. So we need to get. We need, we need to stop the armies of the dark. Yes. Fucking okay. Yeah. So basically, that's a situation we don't really know what to do about it. I, yes, I, I think I, I understand why you wish to speak with Silwyn family. Um, oh, do tell. They, there are rumours around of, of their connections with the Dark Lords. Um, mm. Many of them would have entered into theirs more willingly than it seems you have, mm. more knowingly. If it's to be true, of course, allegedly. 
Um, but it's true. <laughs> we, it, uh, after the bone caller, as he was calling himself, um, came to light that he was uh, part of the Silwyn family, it, it, their family has been on the um, on the radar of well, what the fantasy radar <laughs> of of the rest I of the film. Fantasy radar. Fantasy. Fantasy. The, their family has been on the radar of the rest of us for some time now. Um, it, it would be wise to know, see what they know, but it would also be unwise to go in to speak with them without knowing what you're getting yourself in for. Because if you get Proceeding in there and start caution. accusing, mm. like if you don't start accusing them of things, like don't go in and tell them your name or anything. Like you would need to be subtle. Yes, I'd say I'd say keeping your name is a, a very very bare minimum of self security that one should be aware of. Particularly in the presence of Faye and things. Mm. Mm. I <laughs> I think if you were to speak, do, do, can you get yourself invite to the Delarine? Well, that is the issue. We want to try and get yeah, to Delarine. We, we've got some ideas on how to get there, but we don't currently have an invitation or a plan. Well, no, we have if you, inklings of a plan. The, yeah, I have ideas, if you if you I can know. make yourself useful to the families, they usually invite people. You're adventurous. You you are skilled in the ways oh, yes. of. Dealing with problems? Yeah, oh yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. creating, dealing with, yeah. We the um, the Sundana family, the the ones that run the Erangel mining, they've been dealing with a dragon oh, he's problem. Pesky, isn't he? um, it's the sort of thing that if you were to deal with that, not only would you receive the bounty for it, but you would get on their radar. They would be able to. What's the bounty? Uh, it's a dragon's hoard. That That's sounds. A lot. Pretty good. You could add more to your dragon horde. Uh, having yeah. money as well would definitely earn favour of a lot of the the ladder geeks particularly. Um, mm. They would be more inclined to allow you invitation to their island if they felt like you were of their wealth class. Then of course there's the Eldrin family. They're dealing with um, some sort of issues at the customs order at the moment, the, the smuggling or something. They, they wish to get to the bottom of that, if you can pass I bet it. they do. Yeah, I wonder who's doing that. <laughs> if, you can put a, if you can find out for them who's doing that, or put a stop to it, or like have concerned. you then... Well, no, I'm, well, sure the, I'm, not, I'm not part of a family of smugglers, if that's what you're wondering. I wasn't. Nobody Good. mentioned no you one, being No one brought family. that up, Bob. No, that's why I'm saying I'm not. <laughs> Neither <Barrington>. am I. <laughs> nope. <laughs> There are a number of think, ways to get uh, on the good side of the families. I'm sure if you. So sorry, what are the five families one, again? Jog my memory. Uh, the Ladagip family, the Phantasma mm. family, the mm. Silwyn family, the Sandana family, and the Eldrin family. And, and who's the Kudos most? Kudos to Robert for remembering them all. <laughs> <laughs> who's the most likely to be able to portal us? Who's the most likely to be able to portal us? Is that what we want to do? Do we want to portal to the dark world? Like, no. What, what are we, not, not, what not are we trying to achieve here? I, I, I what do we actually want to do? I think at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I would suggest that you talk to the heads of the five families and convince them that Leithel cannot be trusted. Mm, sounds like we're going to need to go to Dalarine then. That can be done. You just need to get their attention as people of interest and hopefully they'll extend an invite to you. Okay. Right! Up to the Shadow Realm then. But, Let's go. No. What? How did you get that from what we just talked about? To the shuttle round. No. No. Yes. Your, no. no. We're trying to get to Delarine. <clears throat> oh my it, god, you're it. such a thick piece of right. shit, Bodger. <laughs> we're, there's no way in how we're powerful enough What's to our go goal? and no. de deal with that so far. The, the uh, metagaming, the goal is to get more powerful. But um, the goal at the moment would be to deal with Leithel. You need to you need to learn about what you're dealing yeah. with. Yeah, anyway. we're basically we're just intel gathering going like what the fuck are we doing? Like like to find out more steps about the steps would be the it's kind of secondary step but deal with Leithel. Leithel. Find out more about the um about the shadow realm. Maybe try and stop as he was saying before, stop some people who also have the same powers as you mm. from making Calithex stronger. The, the dealing with Lairfield doesn't help us in the slightest with what doesn't. Dealing with. So it's really well, not, not, not. We might get some information. The, yeah, yeah well, if we make him an ally, he could help, you know. I mean, he was the one the, who kicked all this off, so maybe. The prophecy that Zabilna talked about as well is that the being, Kalifak, had a singular track purpose now that he's in this broken, fractured mind state. 
He wants to take revenge on the wizard that sent him to where he is now. And so his purpose and driving goal in gaining the strength that he's gaining is to deal with Leothil. So he might stop gaining strength so also, if we deal with Leothil. There's also a potential that if you deal with Leothil, he has no purpose and he allows himself to fade away. Or on the other hand, if you deal with Leothil, he has achieved his primary goal and so he levels up in power at it. Oh, you need to know. find out. I just need to find help, really. Well, there's someone we, 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 we Having we allies, need. exploring the world to find well, allies I, I, and people I, I, who I are on your to, cause. We need to try and convince people of the prophecy. Or of the, yeah. of the like, honestly, like, we, we are just a bunch of not particularly powerful people. Are we the ones so, to save the world? So, so, there's, so, so there's probably two things. Either go. Spoiler, yes. Mention of the whole campaign, <laughs> which is getting us to just convince some other people to go fight. <laughs> you're going around finding NPCs to just recruit to fight for. But we finally like go like, to, to the Saki like family. family. So you're, you're like a super powerful mage, super powerful mage. You can believe us? Off you go. Cool. 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 And then he's like, cool. so off screen, they fight Caliphate and beat him, and you guys go back to life. You get off some the... little, like, solitaire, like, fireworks. <laughs> and then it comes up, game finished. Um, well, <laughs> so kind, 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 kind of two options. One is that we go and confront the Selwyn family directly, but that's obviously pretty dangerous because they are servant, allegedly servants of the Dark Lord. Yeah. That means that they probably have the most information to give, which mm. is good. But or we could talk to people who have been investigating them. They'll probably have less information to give, but be less dangerous. Mm. Some dangerous ones are fun. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Much I like fire. this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to get along well in this part. <laughs> so we either by killing. I don't think we should get involved in customs business. That's just that sounds like a world of fun. <laughs> Kill a dragon or go see mob. Kill a dragon. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kill a dragon. It is not enough money. Kill a, kill a dragon. Kill a, we get a lot of money if we kill a dragon. Kill a kill a kill a dragon. Kill a kill a kill a dragon. Ethically, that's against my beliefs, but sure. You would you would you would know that dragons come in two different varieties generally. Uh, metallic dragons, brass, gold, whatever, there's tend to be good uh, in alignment and the uh, chromatic ones, red, yellow, green, blue, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Not good dragons. Okay. Um, this one that has been terrorizing the mining operation is a red dragon and is uh, oh by, by, in, by inherent definition an evil dragon. Let's kill him. So sorry, that who, one over there? Who was the, who was the dragon? That we, where, the so mining family. family names and shit. The, uh, yeah, right. Sandana, I'm saying Sandana, right? and I, something like that. I'm pretty sure that's right. The, the Sandana family, family um, are one of the five families that, right. and they run the Erangal uh, Island. Um, it's the mountainous island where the steel mining operation oh, is right, right, situated. Right. So you know, wait, Bajir, uh, used to make you most used to make weapons out of there. I, I used to deal with them. Mm -hmm. you, you would shipments. Have, you would have you used bought to come shipments and get the Erangel steel. steel. Very important, good for making weapons. Mm -hmm. I am a blacksmith. <laughs> well, need I remind you? Well, damn near I am. I need very you good, remind yourself. Very good blacksmith, actually. Okay. Very good. Just before when you're like, where can I get a blade from? I don't know. Oh, I'll probably have to buy one, I guess. Oh, I can't just pull one out of my ass. <laughs> I have to find a place to well, do it. Well, if we're fucking heading off to Erangel to get, uh, you yep. might be able I'm to get. I'm gonna craft myself. You a, might be a able to. Who's looking for a shield thing. for the as, as we're walking past the mines, you just go, whoop, and then you right. can make. So. I wouldn't suggest that. I Should we? Okay. <laughs> Maybe. So, let, t to the dragon. And, and then once we've done this and we've, we've got evidence, then we go to the Sandanas and we're like, yo, we just did this. What's up? Sell one, but yeah. Give us a oh, sell ones. And we're like, yo, what's I guess up? we need we're to go to the, we, no, we'd need to go to the Sandanas first. Yeah, let's go to, to the Sandanas like, and say, congratulations, by the way, shrink. And then, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I guess we'd be nice. We'd probably be nice. <laughs> we, we, want, we want to get their fight. We, 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 we want to just solve this problem pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you go to the Sundowners after killing the dragon and yeah. say, hey, we dealt with the dragon. <coughs> We're powerful plan. adventurers. By Invite way, us to Delirin. This plan. <laughs> a 16? 16. It's a 16, it's a 16 plan. Is the dragon dead now? <laughs> that is a 16 plan. Okay. Uh, yes, it is. Um, Anna, yes, it sounds like a very good plan heading to. Why? Why? What? Uh oh. What? I mean, yeah, hang on. What, why? Something we have brushed over here is killing a dragon. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Sorry, is, is so, sorry, Anna. What was your eyes were flicking around the room? No, Robert's was. Oh, yeah, yeah Robert's that's was. Rob's. Robert's because we've just gone. Yeah, if we, we can go and kill a dragon. And then we'll get gold and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right. 
Off to kill a dragon! Uh, oi, shall we maybe plan a little bit? I mean, it is a dragon. Hit it with your hammer. No, 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 I, I, I think we need to have a, have a good long think about our plan. I can hear some really weird music that basically gives me the vibe of shifty eyes. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, nothing. What is this music you keep Very hearing? ominous music. Ominous music? Yeah, no, some, some vibe about the gods of this realm. Uh, anyway, it's, it's like the gods have got a shit-eating grin on their face right yeah. now. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, we'll, we'll hit it with our hammers. Until it's dead, then we'll get the, the okay. treasure. Okay, let's proceed very cautiously. Yeah. We You're, have never fought a dragon, have kill, we? Oh, you want to know how to kill a dragon? Let me show you. What's up? That one. Uh, one. <laughs> that is an omen. That is an omen. What's the, up? That is an omen. The dragon bursts through the window into Anna's office. <laughs> Mother, is uh, there anything? So you see my concern. The, uh, uh, and, and, the, and the world will have it like, you, you want to know how to kill a dragon? <laughs> like, shit, and then like literally you hear this. That's <laughs> 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 the dragon. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> because let me remind you, the I... other option is we can go and check it with my family and they might be able to smuggle us onto the island. But then oh, once we're smu but then once we're oh, smuggled man. on, we're constantly having yeah. to like hide and stuff. <laughs> we don't have the favor of one of the five families. Mm. Okay. So. Look. Level nine. You're level nine. <laughs> level nine. Level nine. Level nine. Level nine. I think like I have faith. Woo! No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't think the gods of this world would, <laughs> would make that an Put option if it was impossible. We don't have gods of this island. The god of this island. world. The one. So the one. The, big, the one standing right there. It's, a, it's about whether what sort of a campaign you think we're running. One where I put in. Plot hooks that aren't for this level, like a Dark World, a da I, Dark I Souls thing, where you're like, I'm just not ready for that yet, but it's yeah. there when I'm ready. I mean, or I don't know what, what how, just... how powerful a dragon. Uh, uh, dragon. They, hey, they range. Um, uh, Anna, you would, you would all know a, because they exist in the world. Let's have a bit of a chat, Anna. Do we know how, how powerful the dragon? How powerful this dragon is? She goes over to a bookshelf and she okay. gets out books on dragon lore and she sits oh, down. Red, for red the next, dragon. For the next little while, she fills you in on information about dragons. Yeah. Um, she fills you in on information about dragons. They range in power from wormlings, nearly, nearly, hatch, uh, newly hatched, which would, you know, level two adventurers do would be able to take out. Um, you literally would be able to do it by yourself. Um, up to ancient and beyond, even like great worms, which would be ha challenging anyone, for a team of level 20. Do you know if anyone, uh, either yourself or anyone in the university, has seen this dragon that might be able to? Oh, yes, it's been seen. Uh, so his. Um, his modus operandi is to sort of swoop down and attack individual carts uh, of, of the Erangel steel coming from the mine. He usually terrorizes, sets fire, he, he enjoys reveling in people's terror of him <laughs> and then he individual takes away and then often he takes away one of one of the uh, the miners as well. Okay. One. Attacking individual carts, taking away single miners at a time mm, doesn't sound that powerful. Have, has anyone tried to deal with it? There's been a couple of, of um, one one of the adventurers have gone just that like way that. and not come back. Yeah. Oh, I mean, one of just like one or two at a time, or groups of small groups, like us. Like us, we're mm. a small group. We're a small group. <laughs> we're a small group. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But you know, th we're talking about like groups of peasants. Yeah, unlike yeah. us. Like us. Like if you were to if you were to like rate these adventurers between <laughs> one and twenty. To give them just a random. If you were to give to them 20. a random rating of one to twenty, <laughs> what I, rating would you give these adventurers? You might you might be better speaking Four with the Sendanas. Probably. Well, maybe we should go talk to the Sendanas then. Yeah. Are there any? Are there any? As well, who who has the notice posted for it? Is uh, that presumably a member of the Sandana family? The Sandana family do, yes. The, the, it's, um, Is on there the someone on this island? It's to the Sandanas! It's on Erin... <laughs> it's on Erengal, the, the dragon. Wall. Okay, um, <laughs> but I think we should go to Erengal. At least, at least we can go get information if we're like, oh, this is a bad idea, we can leave again. Yeah, How much does it cost to go there? Uh, I think Very it similar. was. I think it was like yeah. I think it was like five silver or something. Okay. I don't even know nobody, no tourists go there. So it's just Don't you worry. Don't you? Yeah, you, you bloody money bags over here, Chris. Yeah. Don't yeah. Oh, and where were the casinos? <laughs> They're in Althalas. Althalas. Um, shall we go then? Yeah, I oh, think we shall go. But before, is there anything else we want to know from Anna before we go? Mm. Pastries. Um, Mum. What's your favourite fear? My favourite fear <laughs> yeah. of all of the fears that I have. Yeah. My favourite is the the fear that I will die unknown. Yeah. Oh, I know you. That's a weird question. What's your <laughs> favourite fear? Yeah, I ask everyone that. 
Why did you ask that? I ask everyone that. Let's go, you're he's weird. Strange. Part of my character. You're weird. <laughs> God, you're weird. Taking yeah, into no consideration, shit. mother, key in mind, one. is there anything I've heard in the last month that I need to know? <laughs> Very good. Um, um, so yes, OK, so with keen mind, mm. photographic memory for everything you've seen and heard over the last month, uh, you would have heard rumours of uh, from the Erangal steel mining that the hoard that they are, that they're offering the reward as the dragon's hoard. You can keep whatever you find there. Um, and they're also offering you a discount on future uh, future um, purchases from Erangal Steel okay. uh, yeah, going okay. forwards into perpetuity. Uh, mm. They have talked about yeah, the mm. dragon being a perpetual nuisance but with breaks in between, like he'll attack sporadically but like once every week or so mm. um, and he'll just do small snatch and grabs, he'll terrorise a couple of people and then let the rumours do the rest of the work for him. It sounds like a small dragon. Okay. It sounds from what you've heard with your, your thinking back over all the conversations and snippets you've heard, people talking on rumours on the on the island around the university campus and things, um, yeah you'd, you'd, you'd guess that it was a young dragon. From what I've heard yeah. it's young. And all that. <laughs> and all that. All Which that. I then divulged to you without <laughs> saying it all again. Um, Exposition catch uh, Now, what was the role that Anna's trying to get again? That what he, Head of arcane, arcane Research. Um, hey, Anna, I just wanted to show you something. This random mask that I've got. Do, do you want to hold it for a bit? 19? <laughs> <laughs> 19 wisdom? Total? 19 uh, it'll be 20. 20. Of course. Um, do you, do you know There's anything still a twinge of like. Oh, do God, you know anything? Do you know anything about it? What would you reckon your mother's speciality is? What is she? Masks. It <laughs> 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 just melts into a pile of blood and bones. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> so you arrive there. Nana. Bring. We're heading off to kill a dragon, so we're gonna well, go do that. Good luck with that. Let's go. Yeah. Hi, my name's Rowan. I love D and D. If you like it too, you should find your friends who also like it and tell them to come on over. D&D, &D, 